All right, um, I'm all sorts of fucked up here. I am, um, good morning. Good morning, San Diego. Comic-Con is in a few hours set up. I got website issues I'm working on here. I got Teddy I'm working on. A lot of shit going on. It's already crazy and Comic-Con hasn't even started. Even by myself. Camera angles are always an issue. I'm still coming, Jesus. I got nothing to talk about, this is just B-roll. Let's give you a little friends and family update, okay? Most of you guys have filled out your forms and got me the correct info. I need everybody else to. As soon as we have the correct info, everybody's gonna get another email where they get their new membership to the site. They're gonna get a login, a password, to a specific part of the site that nobody else is going to be able to log in to. And you're gonna get a secret link, a secret code, only be able to log in your friends and family account. You know, you can't just give a password to a friend or if somehow somebody got into the back end in the first place, it's not gonna match up with your membership. Don't even try that shit. You know, you'll be able to just go in and order whatever the hell you want, have fun with it, get a few of everything. I don't care, whatever you like. It's your life. In the building, waiting to get our passes. Got our stuff here. Water wasn't open. They won't serve me water for another half an hour. Can't get in, can't get passes, can't get water. We're just hanging. It's all right. Dehydrating out here. Oh, water fountain, thank you. Water fountain it is. Oh, yep. This shit is warm. Oh, waiting to get in. Boxes are taller. Than Can we discuss my man's face? I he sees Ern in the camera. Boxes are taller than my friend. Alright. Shit. Does it work? Smooth move. Back to the parking lot. One more trip in. We're in. Get some views here. Didn't get a chance to blaze this morning. Um, oh, nice. Didn't get a chance to blaze or have an edible, so I'm just kind of going raw here. Are you, do you have to wear your shirt here? What shirt? This shirt. I mean, can I go shirtless is what I'm asking. No. No, okay, I was. All right, all right, it's fair enough. Oh, hey, oh. How fun is it driving these things inside? All right, it's pretty fun sometimes. Yeah. Hey. How you doing? Good. How are you? I cannot take any pictures. Oh, you can't. Not gonna lie, I drank a lot last night, and I was doing work, work wine, work wine. Went to bed, felt all right. This morning, not feeling so good. But, but you know what? I feel good now because I'm a fucking San Diego, so I don't care if I'm nauseous. Headed out to 7-Eleven to get another fucking Swisher Sweet. Hi. Trying to get high, and I'm headed the wrong way. How the hell do I get to? Great, great. U turn already. Right. Because this is where the real shit goes down. Beautiful out here. Beautiful San Diego. Do I do it? I honestly don't feel like opening the app and putting in my fucking credit card. Ready to go? Hey, how's it going? Good. Can I ask you not to film? They don't want anything filmed till it opens. Oh, shit. Can I film this way? Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, no problem. They're gonna come at me, Vic. Can't film San Diego. Not allowed. Making friends out here. Making friends, don't worry, I'm not filming it. Filming this way, not that way. <laughs> Finally, I'm on the track. Where the fuck am I going? Jesus. All right, I'm gonna ask you, where, do you, do you know how to get 7-Eleven or do you only answer Comic-Con questions? Uh... Is this backlight? What the, the sun's the wrong way. I... Look at this beautiful city. This is it. Welcome to San Diego, everybody. Petco Park, home of the San Diego Padres. Is that rookie shit? Fuck the cops. A new beginning never gets old. Neither does shooting innocent black children. We won't use that in the vlog. Oh, look at the train though, you can use this. Some real B-roll dog. Now I'm just talking to you. I ain't even talking to the vlog, dog. This is for you. I love you, I miss you. I'm trying to make this the best vlog that it can be. I'm fucking crying. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking footage. Oh my god. I already called Dirty Aaron and told him, but I love... <laughs> I love you so much. This shit is <laughs> fucking ridiculous. I don't think I'm gonna even...
be able to like vlog today just because going through this footage. I vlogged some shit earlier, but oh my god, crying. <laughs> this fucking. This makes you want to fly to San Diego tonight, but Omar's not feeling that good. We'll see. Well, all right, back to the edit. Happy tears for sure, promise. Also super stoned because smoking weed. Comic Con! <laughs> they tell me I'm not allowed to film this either, but they can't stop me up here. Hey, nice sneakers. Can I shoot them? Oh, the 4.0s. Four black. I like it. I got these ones. Nice. <laughs> what up? Alright, security hates me. He's trying to be friendly. I saw you this morning running. I remember the blue lips. Alright. Hey. I've lost sight of 7 Eleven. Can I record your hair because it's awesome? Nice. Secured the bag. Excuse me. Have you ever done this before? This? Uh, no, actually. You're doing it right now? Oh. He is. He is. He's just off. Look at that. He's got oh, the ass. He's gone. I locked it when I went inside. Yeah. Oh, dope. I've just never done it. I'm just asking questions. Just lock it and go do shit. What? You just need the app to open it? Nice. I'm going to do it later. Know. Okay. Thanks, guys. Take... What's that? Spider-Man. Let's go, Padres. <laughs> they gave me free shorts once. I'm a fan for life. Started out a Mets fan. Now I'm a San Diego fan. Yeah. 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 Th throw it up, dude. Fucking love San Diego. I hope this is recording. Can I put you on my vlog real quick? Nice. Nice. Who, where are you guys from? New York. Me too. I'm killed in this elevator. It's a freaky looking elevator. Oh, there's the open elevator. As I'm talking, there's an open hey, elevator. Yes, yes. Thanks. Oh, it smells like, uh, have you ever been to Paris? Yeah. Woo! God, couldn't they just pee outside? Why pee in the elevator? Yeah. Last time I'm taking this elevator, I should have taken the stairs. Put a sign on that elevator. Don't take the elevator, it stinks. I just learned that. That elevator stinks, you guys. Yeah, so that's why we didn't take it. It's motherfucking Deadpool. Are you kidding me? This is amazing. Can I get a little love, Deadpool? Nice. Thanks, guys. Okay, this is my hotel, so I can go that way, but I think I'm gonna go this way. I'm just getting everybody looking cool at Comic Con, <laughs> so. Walter White? Nice. Can I walk through here? I don't know. Excuse me. Did you create those shoes? Oh, no, no. These are just Adidas. I got them from an outlet, actually. I'm running with them. Get it. I'm trying to catch up with you. <laughs> that was it. Nice. I like it. You look official. I almost saw your William Shatner for a minute. I'm actually coming. Captain Cook, that's what I mean. I don't know my Star Trek very well, but I know who you're talking I know the guy, so. I called him fucking, called William Shatner. He said he's Captain Kirk. I don't, I don't fucking know. I had the wrong character. Dog, <laughs> it's not the wrong character. You don't have the wrong character. You, if you name the fucking actor, his name's not. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh my fucking god. I should have just been filming my reaction all day. I just don't ever want to turn this camera off. Oh, I didn't even hit my number. Because I'm in the wrong elevator, I need to go to 21. I'm riding this all the way up and then back down. The bow and horn. Uh, your shoes. Those are um. Those are a special kind. Ah, uh, I can't think of the name. Wings oh, and horns. Wings and horns. I take it easy. Oh, I didn't hit my number. I got in the wrong elevator before. This way. All right, we're back in the hallway. I'm out. I know. No. Stop. Oh, it's very early. It's not burning up hot outside yet. And I ripped my toenail off. My foot hurts. It happens. Ow. Let's go for a walk. Good morning. Omar is not eating, which is not normal. When a dog doesn't eat, normally it means something is wrong. So I came out to the yard to look. He had some evidence of crazy poop on his body. So I came out here to look to make sure nothing's crazy. Which I can't find his poop, which yes, this is my life. I'm searching for shit in my yard. But I did find this, which is a bunch of leaves that he obviously spit up and tried to eat. Maybe that's why your stomach hurts. Huh? Is that, could that be it maybe? You know, you don't need to be eating foreign shit. Huh? Obviously not feeling sick. I don't know, maybe this stomach just doesn't feel good. This up for now. It's not a good angle. 
All right, what up? Good morning. Um, I don't even know where the fuck we left off last, but also I had to Google Mongo is when you uh, push with the wrong foot or not the wrong foot, but if you're skateboarding like myself now. I don't want to be a dick. It's the wrong foot. Pushing Mongo is not accepted. I'm sorry. Let's get it. The end of my birthday cake. All right. Oh. Okay. Thursday. I do believe a package just showed up, which I'm pretty excited about, even though it's not shoes. I have some shoes coming though. Shout out to my BBC fam. First off, got to turn this fan on. But no, shout out to BBC because I have a salad bowl left. Pharrell's, the new one, the pink ones, the ambitions are on the way. Box here is stickers that are coming out. I'm excited to see for the drop. Oh, dope. Yeah, it's perfect. Little sticks. Put one on something. The dumb machine, I guess. Nice. Stickers. Remember rules. Sugar skull. Robot skull. Phoenix. None of these are in focus. Labels. Labels. What are you doing? You better not be sick. You know what I'm saying? I don't got time to take you to the doctor. Huh? You better not be sick. What's up with you? You just eat a bunch of plants? Go vegan this week? I know. I know. Why don't you go lay down and we'll monitor you. Huh? <coughs> it's beautiful. Comic Con official. Day one. Wait, that's a two hard. First thing we're gonna do is interview security. How's it going? Hi. What are you expecting? Uh, a lot of people, a lot of, hopefully a lot of celebrities. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good morning. Is this the front of the line or the end of the line? End of the first line. This is the end. I want to talk to the people in the front and see how long. How long have you been here at the end? 6:30 a.m. Oh, that's not too bad. I've seen people sleeping here last night, so. Yeah, that's the front. All right, get after it, man. Oh, I'm doing. I did four this morning. Awesome. I'm just getting another oh, one in there. Yeah. Start. Have a good day, guys. <laughs> Ready for Comic Con? Nice. <laughs> nice. How many have you guys been to? Seven. Nice. And so, what's this line for? It's Friday Hall H. Wait, you're on line for tomorrow. We're in line for tomorrow, and then I have another group organized Saturday, and she gets in line tonight at 8. Dude, this is awesome. How long you been here? Uh, midnight last night. Uh, yeah, 9 o'clock. Nice, nice. Well, have fun, guys. This is my first one. Cushions. Cushions are the move. Dude, I like the cushions. What a move. That's good. How long you guys been here? This is the front of Friday. You're, you're the guy. Actually, she was here for Oh, Hi. you're the girl. <laughs> Sorry, I won't. I'll wait till you're done. <laughs> Whoa. So, what is the event that you're going to that you're waiting to see? What's that? Where all the uh, celebrities and uh, new movies, usually where Marvel has all their panels. All oh, the panels and yeah. stuff. This is so awesome. All these different programs. Love Nickelodeon. Yeah. Yeah, man. You guys should have slime come from the roof like the good old days. <laughs> we did that one year. Did you really? Yeah, it gets to be outrageous in oh, here. Oh, sure. This, this is my is first one. Oh, so. really? Yeah. Big, get ready. I, that's it's what everybody's telling me. Cool. <laughs> cheers, man. Cheers. Who says cheers? I didn't even say cheers. I turned into Mr. Like, gay. Cheers. Cheerio. didn't call warranty services you guys keep calling me I keep trying to get on the do not call list and I don't own a car so this is all bullshit <laughs> I got download earns footage Are you eating this? I'm just gonna eat the peanut butter 
frustrating. So I'm waiting on a couple more sample photos because I realized the colors I got yesterday, there's a few colors that are missing. Now they're checking just to make sure and see if they have some other stuff. This mock-up finished. I got lookbooks should go out tomorrow. So I think I got everything done, hopefully. Time to smoke some weed. Cherry diesel. That's where we're at. I still smoke weed on stream. Here's the funny stream. Well, I'll do smoke weed on stream. But the, my favorite thing about YouTube, and I've been thinking about it a lot because of this Fousey thing. And I don't like Fousey Tubes content. I don't know him as a person. I think watching this person unravel in this way, like people keep trying to compare it to Kanye West, which is not really a comparison. One, Kanye West is an artist who has like artistic output. Fousey Tube is not necessary. I would not consider him an artist. The manic and the craziness and that, that shit, like there's a level of like self-servingness and all of it and basically now he wants to be a motivational speaker and all that and great man like motivate the fuck out of people if you do that my issue with all this shit is he's he's super back and forth and he goes from pretending or saying or alluding to being in balance with the universe and to understand all how the inner workings of the law of attraction those things are not to be weaponized you can't weaponize the law of attraction like i get whatever i want because the law of attraction motherfucker like that's not how it works you don't bend the universe to your will if you try to control the universe around you everything will go to shit you want to try and take power over it you want to pretend like you're in control it will show you very clearly who fucking daddy is everything that Fousey sort of stands for as far as i can tell from watching him randomly here and there in this past couple of days i've definitely like looked into more shit what i find interesting is all the shit that he's saying about oh we just do all this stuff for views and we uh, we 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 all do this because the youtube checks come in like we don't do shit you know like you did you fucking made all that shit happen you did fake pranks you fucking lied you're the one that's taking your fan based on this fucking crazy ride. Fuck the event and fuck all the other shit. Let's face it, music events don't save the world. I don't know in what fucking world, like in what reality, like, oh, let's throw a music event, it's gonna change the world. No, it's not. It's a fucking party with music. That doesn't change the world. It might change your mindset for a couple hours. Once the glitter and the girls go away, it's not saving anything. It's just an experience. You're creating an experience for people, and that's fine. The basis of it all is, is like, I smoke weed, I cuss, I'm super honest about what I do, and it seems like all Fousey now is doing is being like, we gotta stop being like this and we gotta be honest, like be transparent. Bro, you created this shit. You were like one of the biggest dudes doing this shit ever. So I don't really fucking get how you're the guy who's like, we gotta stop being fake. You're projecting. Everybody's doing this and everybody's hating. That's just like the culture of fucking YouTube. People comment on what everybody else is doing. That's the culture of the internet. Everyone comments on everything and you can't have love without hate. We can't just say like, oh, hate is dead. Let's kill hate. Like you can't kill hate anymore. You can kill a fucking ultra boost. It's insane. It's insane for people to think they're gonna sit around and one day that no more hate is gonna exist that's not how it works to try to compartmentalize that is fucking insanity and to try and make it seem like a concert is gonna fix that is fucking insanity you're honestly to take the fact that you had suicidal thoughts and tendencies and then capitalize on it telling people what you were gonna write in your suicide note and i tweeted this yesterday it really really seems like my man is in a fucking ego trap and he's trying to live through live through witnessing the guilt and the sadness and the regret as if he had killed himself a lot of people i feel like you know and i know a lot of people kill themselves for a lot of reasons but i feel like a lot of people when they're suicidal or think they're suicidal i'm gonna say a lot of people i'll say me at times where i've ever when i was young really young uh i maybe had thoughts of killing myself super crazy fights with a person where i wanted to hurt them so bad that i wanted to kill myself or some fucking shit like that but it always stemmed down to some ego shit it was never about like me being like seriously fucking depressed to the point where like i had no hope to go on even when i had no money anytime that anything like that happened things that would be in my head and talking to friends who have you know gone through their shit it seems like 
most people want to see the response from them hurting themselves. At the end of the day, people want everyone to know how bad they were hurting. And that, that suicide or that self-harm tells people like on the outside like how it feels on the inside. And sometimes, you know, it's final and they don't get to see it. But this feels like, to me, watching it is someone who's trying to get it sounds fucked up, but the best of both worlds. You don't actually have to kill yourself, but you'll get all the attention that you possibly can as if you didn't bring any of this stuff on. I don't think that anyone should ever get to that point. I don't even think the decisions that you make should bring on this kind of shit. But like when you do shit that's fake and act fake and you bang such a loud fucking drum about everything, expect criticism, you know? And if you can't take criticism, YouTube is not the place for you. The internet might not be the place for you. I love criticism because I think it's funny. I don't take it in stride like I take constructive criticism from people that I respect but YouTube comment criticism does not matter to me and it shouldn't matter to these people either and that's the thing too is I get asked this is how this whole rant started I get asked all the time to do different shit people are like do this do that do this go do this you know, I don't eat my channel doesn't even get monetized half the time because I smoke weed because I smoke weed, because I cuss, and because I do whatever the fuck I want. The reason that YouTube is the way it is now is because people have been fucking cookie cutter. People have been strawberry shortcake as fuck. That's the problem. These people created this fucking Mickey Mouse shit. Playing by corporate rules and playing by everybody's fucking like, you have to do this. It's no different than having a fucking job. So why even do your own thing? That's what I don't understand. So like the monetization from YouTube and all that, if you're doing shit just for fucking views, you're doing shit it just for the views just equal the money and it's not about self-expression and it's not about creating something it's not about building something up and showing exactly what you're doing so that when you reach a point where all your hard work pays off people can be happy for you and appreciate it then what the fuck are you doing people want to start something up like people who want to start brand clothing lines people want to start car companies what is your fucking purpose like what are you starting a brand for what is what are you going to say what are you going to do do you have artistic talent you have anything to fucking say i started my channel because i felt like my personality was great i still feel like my personality is great i've lived a life where i can help people maneuver through the world and i think i'm fucking hilarious and i think my friends are hilarious and i think my life is awesome and i want to share that with the world even when the life isn't awesome but this sort of just like ebb and flow of like happiness and sadness which is totally normal but then to use it like you're ha like you're saving other people by throwing a concert and then you know the next video you have is in the club and you're like, oh, someone told me not to worry about what other people say, huh? You're just being ridiculous. Some people watch entirely too much fucking rap music and they want their lives to be a rap video. And even rappers don't live rap video lives. Editing is magic. Editing is magic. That's what it is. Like everything in the world that you see is edited. This vlog, you know, it's like yesterday, fucking hilarious to me, like editing Earn Up. If I showed you the raw footage of Earn walking around, you'd, we'd watch it for five minutes. There's magic in all of this. Do not get caught up in the bullshit. Because that's what a lot of things are. Everything might look great all the time on the internet to everybody. Pick up my phone right now and look at all my ex-girlfriends and they all look happy as fuck on the internet right now. They all look happy. I know the reality of the situation is they're not always happy. Don't get confused and certainly don't confuse yourself into thinking that you should always be happy because you shouldn't and you can't and you won't. It's a state of mind. You can fucking flip back and forth when you feel some sort of way. Deal with it. This shit is crazy. This dude is on a fucking complete manic ego-driven episode. Oh, I'm all about the law of attraction. I'm all about fucking willing shit into existence. I'm all about believing in yourself. But I am not all about making that like a parade that you pretend like you're better than other people and tell everyone to just will everything into existence. Nor do I think that willing shit into existence means that you can say, Drake's just gonna show up and he's just gonna show up. That's not how it works. You're being an asshole, just stop. That's my rant about FouseyTube, which I didn't even plan on going on. But I did. Omar, are you okay? Now I gotta find a lighter. You feel okay? Oh, baby. You're nice and hot.
mean, the whole reason I started making content in the first place was one, because I wanted to. I really did. I mean, for years I told Ern we should be filming our ridiculous conversations in life and arguments and dynamic for years, like 10. Like the real push, like the final thing that was, bro, I could do this shit, was seeing everybody else and seeing who was popular and seeing all the shit that I do that you see all the time on YouTube and the culture of it all and realizing that nobody acts like that. That's not real life. A lot of people look at my channel like that's not real life. This is my real life. Like, absolutely. That's why some days I just sit here and draw and work on stuff so that I can make products that I've wanted to make. Hey, granted, some people will say, man, you know, you could have so many more subscribers. You could have so many more of this. You have so much more of that. That doesn't mean anything. If people are subscribed to your channel because you're being a fake fuck, what good does that do you? It just means that more people are expecting you to be a fake fuck. Why do that? I know that the people that are here, the people that buy clothing from me, the people that watch every video, those people really fuck with me. People who leave a comment being like, you should do this, da 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 They're going through their own shit, and it's fine. Like, I appreciate the view. Like, yo, nice to see you. There's no suggestion box attached to how I'm going to, like, live my life. You know what I'm saying? And that's where I feel like people lost their way with YouTube, and social media, and this, that, and the third. You're not doing it for the likes, man. Fuck the numbers. Fuck how many people actually pay attention to your shit. That's not the point. Nobody paid attention to me for 20 some years. And some people only paid attention to me because they thought that I was gonna do what they wanted me to do. Now I attract who actually fucks with the vision, who actually fucks with the mental state, who fucks with the fucking perspective. A lot of you don't agree with everything I say, but you're adult enough to understand that we're just homies and you don't have to agree with your homies. That, like, that's, that's real. It's real. People need real. You have to keep it fucking real. <laughs> this has to be an attainable pathway to success. You can't motivate people to do something if you're only motivated is it's I just will it into existence that's it fuck it I just everything I want I get everything I want I get too but I it's not not like that you know it's not like like hey universe suck it that's not how it works that's my advice I don't even really know what my advice is or what the topic is of that advice but rolled a joint we smoked it and I went on a rant that's how it goes that's also real you want to start a brand, you want to start a channel, you want to start fucking anything, find out why. But I know people say that corny shit, like find your higher purpose, but really, why? Even if it's as simple as, I think I can do a better job than that guy. Okay, cool, that's your why. You think you can do better, then do better. At no time can you let the people who are fucking hating on you control the mindset that you have. It's silly, and that's also ego. You can't do that. YouTube comments are YouTube comments. I know a lot of people now think they get a response from you that you're triggered. That's not, you know, no one's triggered because they're talking to you. I'm just talking. And what people like to think is that when they get a response, that must make them feel important or whatever. That's that's the real reality. It's like, well, I was important enough to respond to. Also ego. That's that person feeling inadequate normally. Like, no one ever responds to me. I mean, I can't believe you respond to the little old me. A real big line of miscommunication in communication and people do fucked up shit subtly non-subtly but it really all boils down to the human ego like if you're one of those people that does comment and something's pissing you off to the point where you are that upset and you're writing a paragraph really i have the power just to delete in two seconds you feel that strongly like if you feel that fucking strongly about it make something do something for yourself as much as I hate Drake, one of the biggest things about Drake, the one quote that I heard from him that really kind of resonated to me, and at first, the first quote I heard didn't come from him, which was basically stop being cynical, which I'm still pretty cynical, but I try not to be as cynical as I used to be, which means I used to be a lot worse, uh, which, you know, is crazy. One quote from Drake was like, you know, if you don't like me, if I'm so bad, then knock me off my spot. And that goes for everything. Like, I don't appreciate Drake's music, but I also know that I can't knock him off of his R&B spot. It's never fucking gonna happen. I'm not gonna just go and start making an R&B hit. I'm not gonna relate that energy level in people because it's not the type of energy that I wanna put out. It's not the type of energy I wanna take in. But that resonated with me. It's like, you know, instead of sitting around and flipping through YouTube or flipping through whatever your thing is, if you like golf, like, and you think golf reviewers are trash, you're like, stop commenting and start creating. Start doing shit even if you have three viewers even if no one pays attention to you that's not the point you know that's the job mentality once you start paying me for it i'll show you how good i am show people how good you are before you get paid i promise you that that will fucking lead you into a place that you want to be in i promise i promise you i promise you fucking do it nike
I really hate that Nike has the just do it slogan. Such a good slogan. All right, I'm done now, for real. You better? Hmm? All right, we're still monitoring Omar. Playful, he's definitely a little more tired today than he has been. So maybe it's just the heat, I don't know. We'll see how he does for dinner, but you know, if he's not feeling better in the morning, I'll take him to the vet. Check back in tomorrow. Friends and family should get an email tomorrow, but it's probably gonna be tomorrow night because I'm still waiting on files. I'm probably gonna be up all night um, <clears throat> or up really early. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. We'll check back in with Ern tomorrow. He's gonna send me more footage from today, tonight. I feel like my rant today, I included it in the vlog because I felt like it was important to just do. I didn't want to revisit it later, but I feel like it come off really aggressive, really angry, especially as lighthearted as Ern's experience was today. But, uh, I wasn't, I'm not, it's just, uh, let's just call it passion. I'm passionate when I talk about things that I think are important, I guess. Yeah, anyway, that's the day. Love you guys. I'm gonna go make sure my pup is okay and finish this up, so. All right, see you tomorrow. Peace. This is wild. There's just so much beeping. Jesus, what the fuck? There's beeping everywhere. Hey. Beep, 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 beep. Just announced that the exhibit hall is open. The exhibit hall is now open to attendees. Have a great Comic-Con. Not too much cheering. Last night there was more cheering. It's funny. I turned this on to get more cheering and there was none. Probably be checking in with you guys tonight or later. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe a little bit throughout the day, but I have no idea what day one's going to be like.